at TLC Garden Center in Oklahoma City to take a look at some hot new plants for the year. Joining me is Christy Rutland. And your specialty is annuals. You yes. have a beautiful selection here. Tell me about these new plants. So I guess I'll start with the verbena today. Um, we've got a couple of new colors. Um, this one is called Twister Red. And then we've also got Twister Purple. They're still kind of a cascading type of verbena, mm -hmm. um, but they've got this really vibrant color. And I just love the inner circle being mm -hmm. dark with that transition. That is very unique. Yeah, That's absolutely. Fun. Um, something else that, you know, we've got several new petunia colors. Um, last, a couple of years ago, we brought this one in. This one is called bubblegum. Mm -hmm. um, we planted it out in our front flower bed, hot parking lot, blazing two summers ago, and it was still blooming even into the deathly heat. So we brought in another one in the same series. This is mm -hmm. called silverberry. Yeah, we've been planting this in our garden and just love it. I think it's, it's the absolute favorite. <laughs> and both of these are cascading type of petunias, mm -hmm. so they spread out. They're not just going to be a mound. They, they kind of make a big mound. Mm -hmm. um, we also brought back um, from the Hort Couture series. This is called Hell's Bells. Um, really great salmon color. Enormous um, flowers, yes, too. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And also in the Hort Couture line, we've got Glamouflage Grape, which this is a petunia, believe it or not, <laughs> even with the variegated foliage. So even when this may not be blooming, just the foliage itself is really pretty. Absolutely. Um, we also... In the back you have... Oh, the gumfrina. Yes. Yeah. This is truly new. Um, this is called Pink Zazzle. It's a gumfrina, but it gets huge, huge blooms, the huge foliage. It's really a neat plant. It's amazing. You know, every the trend lately has been small, petite, compact, and this just breaks all those rules, but Absolutely. it's really fantastic. It's a neat one. So we also brought back Senorita Rosalita Cleome. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a more compact version of Cleome, and it also is, is um, sterile, so it won't go to seed and spread all over creation. So we brought that one back this year. Definitely a great trait that it's not uh -huh. going to pop up all over the place. Absolutely. Um, I saw these Lobularia planted out front and they are just gorgeous. That's the <laughs> other one. Uh, mm -hmm. Two years ago, again when we had the blazing hot summer, uh, we planted this out in our front flower beds and it bloomed all summer long. Mm -hmm. It's related to the old-fashioned sweet alyssum, but it's sterile again so it'll bloom longer. Mm -hmm. um, this year we brought in a purple one, so we can add to that color mix. Excellent. Um, we also have Super Bells. Mm -hmm. um, last year we had Lemon Slice, that was the big one through Proven Winter. Um, this year we brought in Spicy, Cherry Star, mm -hmm. and Pomegranate Punch. I really, uh, this venation here with those dark red, that is just a really beautiful combination. Absolutely. I'm excited to plant that one out. <laughs> and it's OSU orange almost. Yes, it is. <laughs> Perfect color. Um, we've also brought in a bunch of new combinations that are ready to go. You just grab it and throw it in your flower bed or throw it in your pots or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, these are all happy hour series. Um, we've got Miami Vice. So imagine that. Uh, mm -hmm. with some verbenas and some petunias and a little bit of calabrocoa. Mm -hmm. uh, we have blueberry spritzer, Very which nice. is, it has biddens in it for some great yellow and some purple verbenas. We have daiquiri punch, and that's just kind of a combination of calabrocoa. And then we have pina colada. And these are great for uh, if you have a container, kind of a ready-to-go garden yep. to plant in your container or your favorite hanging basket. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the other thing that I wanted to reiterate is, you know, we, with all of these blooming things, feed them. Mm -hmm. So we brought in a line of organic fertilizer from Dr. Earth. And we have the Bud and Bloom Booster. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of one of those things that we're really kind of hyping up is feed those puppies. Let them, let's. Uh, encourage them to bloom. Yeah, and they're putting so much energy to keep us happy with their flowers. Absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much for sharing all these plants with us. Thank they're you wonderful. For